I've posted a couple videos on YouTube about the sawmill that I built. And I figured I'd do one actually on the sawmill. I'm using three by four by quarter inch angle for the track. Six inch beams for my cross members. Made my own uh, log clamp. The two pulleys are 18 and three quarter inch in diameter, running on inch and quarter shaft. And I put lock collars on them to secure them and hold them tight. The pulley on the motor is a five and a half inch pulley, and then an idler. And then that is how I'm dri actually driving my sawmill. I'm running wood miser blades. Uh, any blades will do, but my dad has a wood miser, so I elected to go with them. And my blade guide rollers, I actually got from Cook Sawmill. They came as a, a set, and then you just weld them on with all the adjustments already made into them. Quarter inch tubing for my water and soap mixture to keep the blade clean. 13 horsepower motor from Harbor Freight. And it's actually doing pretty good. I haven't cut any oak yet, so we'll see how it how it does. And this is actually how my carriage goes up and down. I'm using these flanged roller bearings. Two on the front side and then one on the back with the slot so I can adjust it and keep it tight. I'll try and show that a little bit better so y'all can actually see how I did that. I have one up top there on that side. And then there's one right there. And then the one in the back is actually right here that has a slot. So I can clamp it up even tighter to keep the head from wobbling back and forth. I use a worm gear winch to crank it up and down and it holds it extremely well. I was a little worried that it would vibrate and drop as I was cutting, but it hasn't so far. And then I have one cable coming off of it, going up around this pulley. That comes down to a bar right here, and then it separates into two. So they go around a double pulley here, one goes to this side of the power head and the other cable comes on and goes up and attaches over there. And I did drill holes in them angles so I could adjust them back and forth to make sure my power head would kind of hang air level so I could just move it from hole to hole. And I did the top angle the same way. So I could balance it out. This is how I engage and disengage the belt around the motor. It hooks up here, goes through the main frame, and then it comes over to the idler pulley. And that works extremely well too. Uh, my carriage is quarter by two by two angle with the big groove wheels on it. Quarter inch wall by two by two tubing for the main frame. And then just one inch tubing as a cage reinforcing the main frame to keep it pretty stable I've been working it pretty hard and it's actually been doing fairly well I'm pretty pleased uh, one thing I am gonna have to do is change my standards to where the logs clamp up against uh, they're actually bowing the angle a little bit whenever I clamp them because they're like right between the two beams so I think I'm either going to notch the top of the beam out 
and then attach them there. And then that's actually going to shove my log further that way a couple inches. But I'm really close to this guide here. I actually had to take off the bar, the little plate for the bark to keep the bark from going through. So I actually had to take that little bar off. I'd really like to put that back on. So if any of you plan on building one, Hoping this here will kind of help y'all out what not to do. Uh, I watched a lot of people's videos on YouTube. And I appreciate everybody's videos. So I figured I'd want to put one together too. So that from my mistakes, people can build one and hopefully not have any issues. So thank y'all and y'all have a wonderful day.